Welcome to episode one of Salads That Don't Suck. It's 2024. If you're still eating sad, boring salads, I'm here to change that. To kickstart the series, we're going to make a brown rice tofu and edamame salad. I think the key to a great salad often comes down to the dressing. So we're going to tie this one all together with a delicious peanut dressing. Once all your ingredients are prepped, all you need to do is throw them together in a bowl, give it a real good toss, add some crunchy garnishes on top, and enjoy. Trust me, you're going to love this one, so give Give it a go and thank me later. Welcome to episode 2 of Salads That Don't Suck. Say hello to Vietnamese vermicelli noodle salad. This is one of my all-time favorites that I grew up eating and today we're making a plant-based version with lemongrass tofu. We're also making a vegan fish sauce dressing that's packed with umami. I'm not lying when I say I could literally drink this stuff. Now to assemble our bowl, start with the noodles, then top it with the veggies, herbs, tofu, scallion oil, fried shallots, and roasted peanuts. Pour on a generous amount of dressing, mix that baby up, and enjoy all of that goodness. Welcome to episode 3 of Salads That Don't Suck. Say hello to Fatouche. To start, we're going to tightly roll up some Lebanese bread and deep fry it until golden. You can air fry it instead for a lighter version if you prefer. Our dressing has olive oil, lemon juice, pomegranate molasses, sumac, salt and pepper. To assemble, we're going to pop all of our fresh herbs and veggies in a large bowl, then mix through our dressing. To plate up, top it with fresh pomegranate, that crunchy fried bread and dig in. It is truly so delicious. Welcome to episode 4 of Salads That Don't Suck. Today we're making the best cucumber salad. Having grown up in a Chinese household, this was a classic that I always ate. Traditionally, I'd smash the cucumber lengthways then cut it into rough chunks, but recently I've been loving the mouthfeel of thin slices instead. Regardless, it's still coated in that same black vinegar-based dressing that we all love. I also like to garnish mine with sesame seeds and lots of chili oil before serving. Don't be fooled by how simple this looks, it's an absolute winner every single time. Welcome to episode 5 of Salads That Don't Suck. Today we're making papaya salad. Start by peeling your papaya then shredding it. Any handheld julienne shredders like these two are perfect for this. I also peel and shred up my carrot, halve my cherry tomatoes and slice up my snake beans. For our dressing, we're going to pound the garlic and chili into a paste then grate some palm sugar to add in. Mix that through then add in your vegan fish sauce, lime juice and mix well. So I set the dressing aside but added two spoons back in so I could bruise the snake beans in it. Ideally, if I had a bigger mortar and pestle, I'd be adding all the ingredients in there but instead I'm just going to mix it up in a large glass bowl. Now we're ready to serve, so dish it up, top with roasted peanuts and fresh basil, spoon on any extra dressing and dig in. Welcome to episode 6 of Salads That Don't Suck. This is my take on the viral green goddess salad. For the base, we're going to finely chop up some cabbage, lettuce and cucumber. To make our dressing, we're just going to throw all the ingredients into a blender and blend that up until it's nice and smooth. Pour it all over the veggies that we prepped earlier, then mix well to coat everything. All that's left to do is plate her up, sprinkle on some hemp seeds and serve with tortilla chips. Enjoy!